Good evening, baby dolls. Evening for me. Actually, early morning, 12.49 a.m. Time change. 3.14.2022. Um, this is my first time to come to you, baby dolls, to talk about a Jane Doe. An unidentified person. The young lady was um, brought to my attention and other viewers' attention by someone I greatly admire, a channel called Crime and Justice. This is a rendering of Jane East Point Doe, 2022. This information is taken from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children website. National Center for Missing and Exploited Children dot org. Earlier today, on our community page, I shared a shot. I'm going to try to get us closer. Of this ankle bracelet. On our community tab. Several of you have begun to respond. I have gone to this video, oops, I'm sorry, the wrong page, I'm going to leave a link to this video below, I'm just doing a little, it didn't occur to me I should do this, Crime and Justice brought this case to our attention. I posted on our community tab. Our viewers have begun to respond. To the picture of this ankle bracelet. So now that we're getting the ball rolling. Let's see if we can keep it going. Let's do our jobs. We're YouTubers. Who deal with missing and exploited children. So here we go. Unidentified. Jane East Point Doe, 2022. Date found, February 12, 2022. Location, East Point, Georgia. Sex, female. Race, biracial. Hair color, brown. High eye color, brown. Estimated height, 5 feet, 2 inches. Estimated weight, 102 pounds. Please notice this beaded ankle bracelet. Please go to National Center for Missing and Exploited Children org website and get a better look at it. It appears to be perhaps let's see if is that I was thinking maybe if I clicked on it, it would get bigger. Uh, if you hear some noise in the background, it's a, a kitty playing. Um, W-I-X-K-E-D. 
it appears to have round green it's hard to tell of course here but it it almost looks like jade with cubed like we can all I I've, I've made bracelets with these white with black lettering looks like black lettering the cubes almost look like you know like little tiny dice or die, however, would probably be said. Um, what do we have here? What is this? Okay. Sorry about the kitties having a little fuss, but I'm started and I'm going to keep going. All right, let's look at this. I wish I could get you closer. Please focus. A necklace that appears to say 2005 suspended from what appears to be a gold chain and there's something attached here okay Now, one of my viewers, and also another creator, commented on our community tab that this is a wrapper. A female wrapper, perhaps? Could this young lady have been a fan? Was there a concert featuring this wrapper in Georgia? Let's read and see what the website says to us. Let's get a little closer here for a minute. All right, let's see what it says, darlings. Get to work. Okay, it's not going to highlight. On 2-12-2022, an unidentified female was found outside an abandoned house on Ben Hill Road, what? In East Point, Georgia. Wow. Wow. Okay, keep going. <clears throat> Here we go. Keep going. East Point is a suburb located just to the southwest of Atlanta. The female is believed to possibly be biracial, African American, with possibly Caucasian or Hispanic ancestry. She is believed to be between the ages of 13 and 17 years old with naturally dark hair that had recently been dyed blonde and was styled into a short afro. She is noted to have many freckles along her cheekbones and a possible birthmark or skin discoloration on her right jaw. Her navel and ears are pierced but no jewelry was removed. The female was found clothed wearing an orange cropped tank top with white trim. She was also wearing a lime green beaded bracelet around her left ankle that had white block style beads with the letters W I X. K E D and a yellow metal necklace with 2005 with a white stone pendant that was attached to the numbers. 
The main image above is a facial reconstruction created by a NCMEC forensic artist and depicts what the female may have looked life like in life. The other images are digital reconstructions of the jewelry and tank top that were recovered with the victim. Anyone, let me get us closer if I can, anyone having information should contact 1-800-843-5678. That's 1-800-THE-LOST. Or, and, East Point Police, Georgia, Detective James Crisp at 1-404-559-6370. That's Detective James Crisp at 1-404-559-6370 at the East Point, Georgia Police Department. with any credible information regarding this precious the unknown and lost soul. Jane East Point Doe We're going to try to help find out who you are. Baby dolls, along with the information you're looking at now, please remember it is estimated that this baby is between the ages of 13 and 17 years old. She was a baby. She was a baby. So rather than the missing darlings for the first time, let's see if we can help East Point, Georgia, Detective James Crisp find out who this precious lost soul is. Rest in peace, Jane, East Point, Doe, 2022. This has been Lip Lock No More. And as always, I thank you for listening.